Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial series. In this tutorial series, I'll cover core Java that is required for the manual tester to basically switch the career path from the manual tester to be an automation tester. And I'll cover all the key concepts of Java that is required for you to do the automation using Selenium WebDriver with Java. Now, as we are already learning Selenium uh, with Java, uh, this is uh, sort of uh, the same, you know, th these tutorial series will be included as part of the same tutorial series. Uh, in, uh, in case you are very new to, you know, like Java programming and you don't know the concepts at all, then I'll cover Java from very basic and I'll cover up to the point where you will be really, really comfortable with automating you know um, any web application using selenium web driver and java so um, it, this tutorial will be you know like bit of introduction about java and then from the next tutorial i'll completely start with the hands-on and the actual concepts how you will be applying the actual concepts with the automation so it won't be just theoretical you know tutorial series it will be really practical there will be very less theory because if you go you know online you will be able to find a lot of theoretical concepts available that you can anyways if you want to get expertise in java you can go ahead and read all of that uh, but in terms of selenium automation with java uh, there is not a requirement to be an expert java developer to become an automation tester right so i'll cover whatever is required to become an automation tester and whatever uh, you know programming concepts you need to learn in java to go ahead and start with the selenium web driver automation with java so let's understand some of the uh, key points or uh, about java what is java so the first thing is basically java is a very simple language as compared to you know uh, the previous counterparts like c c plus plus so uh, the the syntax is user friendly friendly um, there are no concepts of pointers as it used to be in C um, and uh, you know there is an automatic uh, garbage collection so you don't have to worry about you know like memory allocation deallocation so all these you know the, the complex concepts that were there in the previous programming languages um, uh, C C++ are being uh, removed and uh, that's why Java became uh, a far, far more you know like simpler as compared to previous programming language and it is a high level programming language so all these languages like C, Pascal or you know Java, Python, C++ all these languages are high level programming languages what this means is that you can write your code in simple plain English you know syntax that is provided as part of that particular programming language um, and then there is a compiler which will compile that particular code and convert it into the low level programming language which is basically low level uh, you know uh, byte codes that get executed on your machine or uh, the hardware so uh, you don't have to actually worry about you know the bits and bytes that you know zero one format uh, that gets converted from the high level language to the low level uh, machine uh, language. So that is all taken care automatically when we talk about the programming language, which is the high level programming language. So that's another, you know, categorization of uh, Java uh, programming language that it's a high level programming language and very simple, you know, uh, syntax structure to, to learn. Uh, the third very important point is that it is object oriented so uh, it, it supports all the object oriented concepts like objects classes inheritance uh, polymorphism um, abstraction and encapsulation so we'll cover all these concepts in our upcoming tutorial and we'll cover practically so we won't just be going through these slides this is the um, only uh, you know introductory tutorial so i'm covering these concepts so that you know a brief about you know what exactly you are going to learn so all these object oriented you know um, concepts or uh, features are being supported um, by java and we'll learn how you can implement these and how they are used into selenium automation so where where exactly they are being used rather than just you know uh, learning all, all these you know concepts and then don't know how where they are applied and how they are applied so we'll we'll try to correlate as much as we can with the selenium web driver when we 
learn all these java concept the next very important uh, you know thing is to uh, remember about java is the platform independent so it is platform in independent what this means is that you write your program once and you can run it on any platform okay so for example in this case say for example you have written a program hello world dot java okay so this is a uh, simple you know you, you follow the java syntax you write a program and then there is a java compiler so which compiles this particular code and then it gets that particular code gets uh, interpreted so jvm has the java interpreter as well so there are you know three key concepts when we talk about java uh, you know uh, platform independence so you have the class you have the java file and then the compiler and interpreter so basically compiler compiles your dot java file and converts into the dot class file and then interpreter interprets that class file and you know uh, interpreter is part of the jvm itself and if your machine say for example you are having a windows machine and windows machine is having the jvm already running then that particular you know compiled code or the class file can be executed on windows or on mac or linux or android or any any other operating system out there if there is a jvm running on that particular operating system or machine then the same code that you have written hello world.java can be executed on any of these platforms as far as these platforms have the jvm running uh, which has the interpreter which will interpret that class file and execute in the similar fashion it doesn't matter which particular platform you are running on that particular program on so this is the main you know advantage of using java and that's why there is a there was it was you know like sort of sort of um it is very highly used uh you know programming language and more than 3 billion devices run on java nowadays so these are you know very key concepts about you know introduction of java if you want to learn um, more about you know more features so it is you know secured robust it is interpreted high performance multi-threaded distributed and dynamic i'll try to cover these as we go along with the tutorial where these you know features fit in um, with selenium web driver but if you want to if you're curious and you want to learn you know uh, the details of these just go to you know google.com and search for java features okay you will get a lot of information that is available on google that you can search um, simply go to images you will find lots of images that you know describe what all these java features are say for example if i go to this particular you know website and just open that and you you can read the java features that are available and this will be really helpful if you want to dig deeper into the details of java so uh, for now i won't be going into you know the details of each and every concept or what exactly the theoretical concept when we uh, you know talk about these features because unless until we are able to correlate this with the actual you know selenium automation then it doesn't make sense to you know just keep going through the theory and you don't know where to apply these so from the next tutorial we'll start with the eclipse id we'll open eclipse uh, which is the uh, integrated development environment that we'll be using for the Java programs and development. And then we'll use it to basically describe or we'll write the program and start actually explaining all of the features and the object oriented, you know, like concepts for the Java programming language. So that's all in terms of introduction to the Java for testers tutorial. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.